Well, Marlon, uh, your Bristol City debut in terms of your first start tonight. Yeah. How much did you enjoy it out there? Um, I really enjoyed it, to be honest. Um, you know, I think you know, I said when I first signed, you know, the, the type of football that the club way, the club plays really appeals to me, and you know, I think it was um, evidently out there to see today. Um, so I don't know if you're professional football, how, how can you not enjoy you know, playing in a team that passes the ball so well, and, um, and like we did tonight. It looked on paper before the game like a really narrow midfield. Was it a sort of different role in any way for you tonight? Not really. It's kind of the role that you know I've been used to playing. Um, you know, I played it in like, youth team reserves and I played it for Cheltenham a lot. So um, yeah, it's a role that you know I've, I've felt comfortable with and you know, I've kind of I've learned how to play my game game around. So um, you know, for me, it, you know, today it, it was a, it was a good position for me to play in. Is it a system that sort of, if you can get that interchanging right, as we saw tonight, it's so hard for other teams to deal with? I think so. Um, obviously, when you are that narrow, you have got to have a bit of movement in there because, you know, in that middle of the park, it's so compact and, you know, to get on the ball, you're going to need interchanging runs and, you know, a lot, a lot of clever thinking. So, um, you know, it, if, it, if it does, if you do it well, and it's, it's hard for teams to pick up because um, you know, there's so many bodies in there, and if you can move the ball quick, you know they're, they're going to have a nightmare trying trying to know where the ball's going to go. Obviously, plenty of midfielders at Sean O'Driscoll's disposal at the moment. Is that the sort of competition you embrace? I think you go. Um, I mean, you need competition to keep you on your toes. So um, I don't think you can afford to be complacent and be comfortable. Um, you know that you know every game you're going to have to go out there and perform to your best. So. As, as, as you want to do anyway, but um, you know that if you don't, there's going to be lads waiting, waiting to take your shirt off you. So I think that's the aim of, it, of all the boys now. You know, once you're in that team, it's just to make sure you stay in there. Obviously, you've been in, the, in and around the squad for a little while now. Has that made it a little bit easier to blend in, particularly on the pitch? I think, yeah, I think, you know, when I come here before I signed it, um, you know, as soon as I signed, I knew all the boys, so it, it made it much more comfortable for me. I didn't need to get to know anyone. I already knew all the boys. I kind of knew... Obviously, I, I, you don't know everyone, you know, inside out. You don't know, you know, what, what's happening inside out. But you know, I had, a, I had a rough idea, so it made everything a lot smoother. So, um, you know, when I do come in the team, and when I do come in the team, you know, that there's a bit of understanding there instead of, you know, me not really knowing what to do. Most importantly tonight, of course, second round of the Capital One Cup. I mean, what would a cup run do for the confidence in the dressing room? I mean, it's great, especially when when the big boys are in the draw. You always want to play, you know, the best teams, but. I think it, it comes down to winning a football match, um, regardless of what competition it is. Um, you know, the feeling in the dressing room after winning the game, you can't beat as a footballer. So, you know, hopefully we'll have a lot of them this season. Um, and regardless of what competition that in, it, it will bring on our confidence and, and, and our belief to do well in, in every game.